Hey, what's up guys, it's Jay here and welcome to a vlog type video. This is a video that I promised about 100 subscribers ago and I'm just now getting around to doing it because I think my setup is about finished. This is going to be a video going over my entire setup and what I used to live stream and record and all that. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing that you're going to be seeing whenever you walk in here is my lighting. I just have some Limo Studio umbrella lights, that's all I use, nothing special. Really just set up, just you just put together and then it is very bright and then it goes on the screen screen which is the next thing you're going to see whenever you walk in here walk over here you'll see this green screen i believe there's just a limo studio green screen as well it could be mistaken but nothing special i don't have the elgato one just because i don't think it's necessary this is what i use and then whenever you come around here you will see this monitor this monitor i use to for my Switch, which is right there, I use it to record my Switch, my Wii U, and my Wii. I use it. This monitor does all three of those. All I have to do is change like one wire, and then it's all good and set up. And then the next thing you're gonna realize is my computer. This is just a Windows 10 computer. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty high end, but I don't know all the specs unfortunately. But for now, that's what I use. And if I knew the specs, I'd put them in the description or something. But I don't unfortunately, so I'm sorry about that. But you can see my keyboard, which is a Razer Black Widow, I believe. Pretty nice. It's a little bit messy right here. It's a little bit dirty. It's pretty old. I think it's like two years old, maybe a year and a half, maybe somewhere from there. And then for my mouse, I use a Razer Death Outer because that's the mouse that I prefer. I bought all this equipment like a really long time ago whenever I used to do like PC gaming. So that's why I have all the good equipment right there. And then right here, like I said, I have my Switch right here. My Wii U and my Wii. My Wii is mainly just used to play Mario Kart Wii, and then I use my Wii U to play all other Wii games. Because if I record off my Wii, it's like really, really low quality, but I have custom, Mario Kart Wii custom tracks on my Wii, like modded, I have my Wii modded. So uh, yeah, right here I have a GameCube controller, and this is just to play with my GameCube controller on the Switch, just because I ever decided to do that. And then right here, this is huge. This thing right here, this uh, AV to HDMI, that's what allows me to record my Wii with uh, my Elgato, which I'll show right now. On the back end of my computer here, you'll see my Elgato HD60S. That's why I used to do all my streaming. It is a very, very, very good capture card. I have very little issues with it. And it's great. I love it. It has no delays. It goes right into USB 3.0, which is right there. And it pretty much makes it so there's a zero delay between what happens on the screen and yeah. So like I'll do something on the screen and then it'll immediately show up on my computer, which is great. There's no delay at all. And then the next thing you'll notice is my webcam right here. This is a Razer, what is it? I forget what it's called. Does it say on here somewhere? I know it's a Razer, but I forget what it is. If I remember, I'll put it in the description down below or something. But I, unfortunately, I can't believe I forgot what this was. Can't be forgot the name of that, but it's a really nice screen or a really nice webcam because it has a ring light on it, which is super handy to help light up, light up my green screen. Because like I said, the only lighting I have it for right now, the only lighting I have for my green screen right now is this uh, umbrella light, and then my webcam. That's the only lighting I use for my green screen. It works out pretty well. Sometimes I have I have issues with the lighting. I might get better lighting here eventually, but that's pretty much all I have. And uh. Right here you'll see I have a con classic controller which I used to play on the Wii whenever I play Mario Kart and I have my Joy-Cons there. And then I have a power cord here. It's kind of messy. My room's a little bit messy right now. Over here are, are all my games. I have Wii Sports, and Super Mario Bros. Wii, Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U, Super Mario Maker, Super Mario Galaxy 2, Mario Kart Wii. Like I said, Wii Fit, Super Mario Bros. Wii, Super Mario 3D World, Super Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Kirby Star Allies, Just Dance 2018, 1-2 uh, Switch, Super Mario Sunshine, Mario Kart Wii, uh, Super Mario Galaxy, Mario Kart Wii, and Super Mario 3D World. I have some repeats of games. I don't know why I have this game price. I think one of the uh, discs broke, so I bought it twice, if I had to take a guess. And I know for the, reason, the fact the reason I have Mario Kart Wii twice is because one of the discs did break recently. Well, it's like, I think it was like a couple months ago the disc broke. So I did, and I love Mario Kart, so it's why I did buy a disc. A new disc for it, I love that game too much not to have a copy of it of all times. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I don't know if there's anything else of importance. So there's my Wii U gamepad. Oh, yeah, my chair. I didn't mention this yet. I have a DX Racer. DX Racer, as you can see. It is green, so it does, like, chroma key out whenever I use my green screen. If you watch my streams, you'll notice that, yeah, my chair gets chroma keyed out. 
But it's not that big of a deal. I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's a really, really, really comfortable chair. And I don't know if there's anything else worth mentioning right now. It's pretty much my whole setup. It looks, it's pretty nice. I really do like it. It is a really, really, really good setup. Oh, I didn't mention my microphone yet. I have a mic arm right here. And then my microphone is an AT2020, Audio Technica AT2020. I don't know if it says on here anywhere. I don't think it does. Oh yeah, it does, right here. AT2020 USB. There you go. USB Plus. So it has, it's pretty much has no new features. This is pretty much the same exact thing as the regular AT2020. AT2020, I don't think the price has changed it either whenever I bought it. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any other questions about my setup, you can leave those in the comments down below. I will be reading the comments like I always do. If I don't reply immediately, I will reply. Just give me a little bit of time. I might be busy or something. But uh, yeah, I think that's, I covered the main things for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like on it. And oh uh, yeah, we pretty much hit 300 subscribers too, so I'm 100 subscribers late to this video, which is funny. But uh, tomorrow, I think that, I don't know when this video is going up, but uh, I should have like a reacting to old video stream soon. If I'm recording, I think I'm gonna upload this like uh, the same day I'm recording it. I'm recording this, what day am I recording this? I'm recording this at this, uh, the 8th. So yeah, on the 9th, I'm going to be doing a reacting to an old video stream at 2 p.m. So July 9th, 2 p.m. East I'm going to react to a bunch of old videos. And I think it's going to go up on the 8th. So uh, yeah, it's probably unedited. I don't think I'm going to be editing this very much. Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention. I have this. You probably saw this when I was going over the games. This is a custom-made jig that I used to uh, mod my Nintendo Switch over there so I can do Aussie hacks. I it's really not that hard to hack if you want to know, if you want to get a good tutorial on how to hack your Switch, I would suggest going and checking out Dan the Man's video. But uh, yeah, that's about it. I have nothing else to mention, I don't think. And this video's going on long enough, I've kind of been like rambling for a little bit. And yeah, that's about it. If you guys did enjoy this video, like I said, make sure you like on it. And I will see you guys in, I don't know when my next video is going to be, but I stream every single day practically, so there's that. And uh, yeah, see you guys then. See you guys tomorrow for my next stream. See you guys then. Goodbye.